What's going on knuckleheads, it's Josh here and today we have another team fight tactics tier list for patch 12.20. This is an aggregated tier list based on the data from 6 different sites as well as 3 different TFT experts who are linked down in the description. So let's jump right in and see which comps are the best to climb this patch. At the top, you can see some of the usual suspects are still S tier, like Tempest Dao Shin, Jade Shio Yu, and Guild Zaya. There's also one other addition to the S tier that we'll touch on in a minute, but in the A and B tiers, there's also a few comps that have been consistently strong over the last few patches, such as Rage Wing Shivana, Skill Scorn Olaf, Dragon Horde, Cavalier Deja. These are all very consistent comps that don't really seem to have been affected by a lot of the nerfs and buffs in the recent patches, which is surprising, especially for things like Guild Zaya, which actually got directly nerfed this patch. But all in all, if these are comps that you've been rocking over the past few patches, there's no need to deviate from them, you can keep playing them. They all seem to be pretty consistently strong comps. However, a few comps have fallen out of the A and B tiers, and a few that have risen up into the A, B, and even S tiers, so let's touch on the comps that are rising and falling in 1220. And after the Dragon Manzer buffs last patch, it's no surprise to see that Jade Karma and Jade Lee Sin have both shot up the rankings into the S and A tiers respectively. With all the additional AP that Dragon Manzer now gives, Karma is insanely strong. And obviously, as a hyper roll comp, you can get her online very, very early into the early and mid game to get out to a very big lead. As far as Hexec augments go, things like Axiom Arc and Blue Battery are going to be great to give your Karma even more uptime on her abilities without having to saddle her with a blue buff instead of a damage item. Luden's Echo and Dragon Mancer Crest or any of the Dragon Mancer family of Hextech Augments can also be great, or anything that's going to give you the opportunity to reroll for more karma stuff like Golden Ticket and the like. Same sort of concept for Dragon Mancer Lee Sin. With the Dragon Mancer buff, obviously he is much stronger now and his ability can hit like a truck. Similar Hextech items that you want to be going as with Karma, Axiom's Arc, and Blue Buff are really good on Lee Sin still, but you can also go for things like Thrill the Hunt or Celestial Blessing as they can both be incredibly good on Lee Sin. Another set of comps that's rising up the ranks is Shapeshifters with Nidalee and Jace both rising into the B tier. For both of those comps you're going to want to go pretty much the same augments. Things like Shapeshifter, Heart, and Combat Training are both going to be really good in these comps. Beyond that though, not many comps have been rising up the ranks since the last patch. Instead there have been a lot of top tier comps that have fallen out of the A, B tier. Stuff like Cannoneer Graves, Mage Namzi, Bruiser Pantheon. They had their time in the sun and it looks like they've fallen out of favor very quickly so I would avoid playing them this patch unless they're just uncontested and you can get three stars very easily. The comp of the patch for 12.20 is undoubtedly the Kaisa Zack comp that has taken the meta by storm. Even though I only have it in the D tier at the moment, that's really because I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on this comp. The experts in particular really seem to be in agreement that this comp is really overpowered and people should be playing it. Obviously the Dragon Mancer buffs have been huge for Kaisa here. This is primarily a Fort Dragon Mancer comp even though it's also a 3 Lagoon comp. The icon on the tier list should have been updated to be a Dragon Mancer rather than a Lagoon emblem. But the long and the short of it is that you want to hit level 6 as normal and then you want to be re-rolling to try and get as many Zaks and Kaisas as possible. Have Karma hold any excess items for your Kaisa and later your Yasuo. As far as items go in the early game, prioritize getting Tear, Needlessly Large Rod, and Brawler's Glove. As far as augments go, the two big ones that you want to be looking out for are Featherweights, which is going to give more damage to your Kaisa, a 2 star unit, and Preparation, which is going to grant your Kaisa and your Zac more health and AD as they sit on your bench as you're re-rolling to try and get to 3 stars. And honestly, anything that's going to give you better odds to reroll like Trade Sector or Think Faster Golden Ticket are going to be fine for this. This comp does spike more in the early to mid game, so if you're losing a lot of health early, it's best to probably pivot off of this. Maybe go to something like Lee Sin, Dragon Mancer, or maybe Mage Soam if you've really itemized AP heavy. Views this because I'm pretty sure that Dragon Mancer is going to get nerfed in 1221. Enjoy that free LP, and I'll catch you later, knuckleheads. Thanks for stopping by. Peace!